Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm very excited to show you all this video because I'm going to be customizing my very own jean jacket. Or a denim jacket if you say it that way. This new jean jacket I got for the very purpose of customizing because it has so much space and so much potential for painting and customizing and I'm really excited to get started with this. This is just your regular old jean jacket made out of denim and it just has lots of potential for customizing and creating your own design on it. But I'm going to be starting off first on the back panel of the jacket by creating a nice white base coat. Since the denim material is so dark, it's really necessary to do a white base coat so that my design will actually be seen and I won't do millions of coats for nothing. This back panel is actually going to be the only part of the jacket that has a big design on it. The rest of the jacket is actually going to be really simple and so I actually spent the most time with this back panel. I was surprised to see that the denim material actually didn't drink up a lot of the paint. Normally when painting on fabrics, especially darker fabrics, it takes a lot of building up for the paint to create a nice white base coat, but it was actually pretty easy to do for this jacket. And once I had a solid white base coat, I started sketching out my ideas for the jacket. Most of the things that I paint on this channel are things that I use for decoration, not for daily use. But this jacket's actually going to be a jacket that I plan on wearing a lot. And so I wanted the design to be something that I would like to wear on a daily basis. And so as you can probably tell by now, I decided to paint a Winnie the Pooh on the back panel of the jacket. I had lots of ideas on what to paint on the back of this jacket, but I wanted the final design to be something easily recognizable and something very cute and timeless. And so I'm painting Winnie the Pooh in the outside in like a park or grassy area, just enjoying the fresh air. But this process of painting the blue background took many long hours because blue in general is a very transparent color and the specific blue paint that I was using for this was very transparent. And in general, when painting this jacket, I had to do many coats of paint for every single thing that I did. But finally, I had layered up enough paint and was able to have a full, solid design. But I noticed that there was a lot of big, empty space in the top part of the back panel, and so I decided to write one of Winnie the Pooh's most famous quotes in white to kind of look like clouds that were in the quote for him in the sky. Now the quote is, you're braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. And also off camera, I have finished off the face and the facial details. And this is how the final bag panel came out. 
it's a lot simpler than I had originally intended it for it to be, but it honestly took a lot of time, around just a week, for the back panel design. However, there's still a lot of blank space on the jacket, and I really wanted to add some more color and maybe some rainbow to the jacket. And so I thought that the seams all throughout the jacket would be a good place to add some color without completely painting the whole jacket. Because I still wanted it to seem and look like a jean jacket. And so I decided to paint on all of the seams of the jacket with different colors of the rainbow. This took a lot of time, just this part of painting the seams took another week. And it was really nerve wracking because I didn't want to paint off of the seams and get paint on different parts of the jacket. And although I did try to be really careful with it, there are some spots where I did end up getting paint on it and I wasn't really able to do anything about it. I kind of just had to deal with it. And since I do prefer pastel colors, all of the colors I was using were pastel, which made it harder to paint on the seams. I had to do around three to four coats each time when I was painting a seam, just to ensure that you could actually see the color on them. My main reason for painting on the seams is because fabric paint tends to turn really hard and like a plastic material. But since the seams are already hard and they don't move that much, it was a good place to put the paint on it without like making the jacket too stiff. Especially the yellow and pink paint that I was using was really transparent. And I tried lots of different techniques and different brushes to paint it. At one point I even used a dotting tool to just do a big layer of paint. And it worked but it took a lot longer than if I would have just brushed it. This jacket and this video in general to make took around two full weeks to do. It took around one full week to do the full back panel and then one week to do all of the painting on all of the seams. But also I really wanted to take my time with this jacket since it was something that I was going to be using a lot. I wanted to make sure that everything came out correctly and since fabric paint is permanent on fabric I wanted to make sure that I didn't mess up and a lot of the painting of the seams I did off camera mainly because I couldn't record it all and besides the seams I'm also painting the pockets and the front two cuffs of the jacket. And I took a lot of time planning out the colors and how they would look good together and marking where I would put what color because although I couldn't follow a strict rainbow pattern, I did want to include all of the colors. And I also added some white to the jacket just to have a little bit of contrasting colors. And also to tie in the white lettering in the back panel of the jacket. I probably should have used some more masking tape while painting just to ensure that I wouldn't paint anything that I wasn't supposed to. But I was being too lazy and decided it would be easy to just be extra careful. 
One of my favorite things about this jacket is the painted cuffs of the jacket. I really like how those turned out. And I was technically able to do a rainbow in the front part of the jacket. Going from the left pocket all the way to the right pocket, I was able to do a line of colors making a pastel rainbow. And then for a last finishing detail, on the back little cuff parts of the jacket, I added the date that I officially finished the jacket. And on the other side, I added my initials with some gold fabric paint. And then this is how the jacket finally turned out. I'm honestly very excited and very happy with how the jacket came out. Most of the jacket's pretty plain with just the little color going all through it, but honestly I really like it that way. I'm extremely happy with the cuff links and the cuffs of the jacket. And although it took forever to paint, I'm also really happy with the back panel. It's not a perfect Winnie the Pooh, but I'm still really happy and proud of it. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed this jacket and how I painted it and how it turned out. I'm really happy with it and hope you all are too. Thank you all so much for watching and God bless you.